Hi all, this is Skate, and this video is all about HG. Now, the opening sequence was a 113G penetrating the side of a Death Star turret with HG. I included that not because it was wow extravagant and it was amusing though, but I included that because I think that shows exactly what this video is all about, using HG effectively in places where a lot of people don't realise you can. And the reason I've wanted to make this video is quite simple. You could be rocking up in the E100 in tier 10 and the enemy IS-4 is spamming HG at your face. And you just instantly go, ah, how did they drag themselves to tier 10 firing just HG? But then again, just as bad in my opinion is those who try HE at the low tiers, can't make it work and never use it again. That's just as bad in my opinion because HE is a wonderful and versatile ammunition and if you can make it pen, you can absolutely decimate with it. And one shot with HE can potentially turn the tide of an entire battle. We've taken out pretty much one tank for every HE shell in this little clip. But this is it. A T-49, just like an SU-152, just like a KV-2, it's known for being a derp gun and splashing nothing but HE. I've also been told HE is a no-skill ammunition, you point and click and no skill is required. Now I've got to disagree with that one. Being able to penetrate with HE and being able to use HE effectively, even as it's just splash damage, is a very good skill to have. Take this clip. I penetrate the lower page of an E25. It's quite easy to do, not a problem. It didn't really require a lot of skill other than aiming in. The next shot is going to be on a T34-1 lower plate. If you look when he comes over the ridge, I cannot penetrate the front of him. So the solution is not to just fire and splash, it's to wait, because as he reverses, he flattens off his lower plate, removing the effective thickness, and I know I can then penetrate for the full max damage. Even the Batjack can join the HE party. The back of most American tanks, in fact nearly every American tank, is very easy to penetrate with HE, to which even the Batjack should use. That would have been two APCR shells and an extra three seconds waiting. So small caliber guns can use HE well, but where HE really comes into its own is in large caliber guns. HE to large caliber guns is like salt or vinegar to chips. Uh, or french fries if you're watching from the states. They taste great, but they taste better with salt or vinegar. <laughs> it's a strange simile, but it works. Now to some people out there, everything I'm explaining is glaringly obvious, but to others it may not be. We have to remember, different people are at different skill levels. I get that. This E100 clip, for example. If I didn't HE that AMX50B through its cheek for a full penetrating roll, I'm pretty much guaranteeing I would be dead by now. Heads up in advance, many 50Bs were harmed during the making of this video. But HE shouldn't just be used for trying to penetrate other tanks. It can be used to slow them down if they're pushing you by putting one in the track, finishing off targets without having to waste more time aiming in. In that scenario, just aim for the side of the turret, guaranteed easy finish. It means I'm not going to exchange hit points. Another example, pops around the corner, don't need to waste any extra time than I need to, put a HE shell in. Um, remember though, HE if you don't penetrate can potentially damage multiple targets at once as well. Not very helpful in that circumstance, but it's an example. And I know it seems obvious finishing off tanks with HE, but watch. He tried the same thing on me, which I did do on him. Yes, his gun is smaller, however, if he went for the bottom of my turret, or my lower plate, or the front of my hull, he would have killed me, I'm willing to put money on it. But he hit my gun, so it did virtually no damage to me, which allowed me to continue on with this game, and to do a lot more harm with my HE. I wouldn't have been able to do that if he did finish me off. Even some of the most heavily armoured tanks in the game. Better HE can easily finish them off. 
I know this seems glaringly obvious to a lot of people, but you'd be surprised just how much. Actually, no, you wouldn't. How many games have you been in where you are, oh god, I've got one hit point left, and you were pretty much betting the end of your life, yet you got a ricochet or a heat fizzle against the angle of your turret or something ridiculous because they fired AP or heat at you instead of just a quick splash of HE. Or the other way around, how many times have you left a target on one or two hit points and just in the heat of the moment or forgot or whatever, not fired HE? And then that guy turns around and finishes you off. It happens to us all. I use more HE than I do premium ammunition because I find it just such a versatile ammo. And if you want the best way to practice using HE and learning because it's not just about being able to penetrate, it's about knowing where to fire at as well, obviously. And that means learning and remembering the armor layouts of a lot of tanks. So in the future, you know you can easily switch between HE, AP or whatever you may be firing to quickly penetrate if need be. But the best way I find to practice and learning those weak spots is British high tier tanks. Because we cannot have a video about HE without an honorable mention to Hesh. Hesh is the greatest HE ammo of them all. And it's much more forgiving than normal HE because of the higher penetration values on it. And what that basically means is even if you don't penetrate, because you've penetrated further into the armour, you're going to do more damage if you don't get it right. Because a couple of things worth mentioning about HE, for those who don't know, HE will explode on the first surface it hits and connects with. So for example, if I hit the track, it would splash on the track, wouldn't penetrate the tank and wouldn't do as much damage. So when I'm looking for the side or the rear of medium tanks and I want to penetrate with HE, I need to make sure I go above the track not into the track. That's only if I want to make sure I do a full penetrating damage. But again, one of the beauties of HE is that's just one option. If there's a medium tank rushing me and I don't have the traverse speed to make sure it doesn't get behind me, I will use HE on its track instead. Not only can you guarantee HE will pretty much take its track off, if there's a medium going full speed at you, you can pretty much guarantee that will also spin it at the same time, allowing you that little bit more time. Also, you need to remember this. Amorax. <laughs> um, HE does more module damage than any other ammunition. We just popped that guy's Amorak and we severely damaged his. But again, I'm not switching back to the normal ammunition because I know with Hesh I can also penetrate his lower plate. But you'll notice he repaired his Amorak straight away. And that's another beauty of HE. You can make people and you can decide when someone uses their repair kit. That's a bloody beneficial skill to have. You're dictating when the repair kit is used, so then you can track people where you want them to be. This next one is a lovely example. Watch how many modules we wreck on this tank by hitting it with HE. In fact, a lot of shots with HE, even this one on the Fosh. Granted, it kills it, but it knocks out three modules before it does. Which means you know they're going to be using repair kits. Which also means they more than likely don't have another one to use the next time you push at them. I love this little example as well. IS-7, straight through the top. The amount of times you will see tanks rushing that tank just to try and finish it off, instead of just trying something like that. There goes another 50 B's hit points. <laughs> I actually feel sorry for 50 B's because as soon as I see them, I default to HE ammunition. That is literally my default when I see a 50 B because they are so easy to penetrate with HE. But they're not the only ones and people don't do it enough. Death Star, just below the turret, all the way round. You can penetrate with HE all day long, not even struggle. Flat cheeks of the Death Star turret, so if it turns away, you can guarantee slightly angled side of a 50B turret, the lower plate of a Leo PTA. It's quite staggering how many things you can try and penetrate with HE. Like this STB one, there's a chance I'll hit its track from this position, but there's also a chance I'll take over 50% of its hit points. That can turn the tide of a battle right at the very start. It's worth the gamble. If I didn't penetrate him with HE, I would have taken his track off if I hit the track. And if I did that, there's a good chance it allowed my mediums more time to get into that spot before him. Or even better, 
allowed the rest of the tanks around me to then rain shots in on him as well, which also benefits me because it gives me assistance damage in the process. Those things we have already discussed make HE fantastic and very versatile in my book, and something that should be something everyone's using. Not all the time, don't be that guy, but practice with it. Here, over 200 hit points, I have a large caliber gun, just smash them HE and I know I'll finish him off. Another 50B. This one doesn't work to plan though, look. I hit the side of him, I only do 447 damage because I didn't penetrate him, but my next shot onto him does penetrate. So in two shots I've done 1400 plus damage to that guy, which is more than I would have done with two AP shells. Or this circumstance, quick cheeky HE to the side, finish off a tank who was going to circle me without having to waste time aiming and standing still. And we cannot talk HE without talking about the HE on this thing because it's phenomenal and it will make you grin non-stop. And again, the amount of times I've seen these tanks not firing HE and even squishy targets like a Batchat is staggering. But you don't even need that size gun. You can go down to something like a Fosh 155 and still hit shots you wouldn't expect to. Above the track, you can penetrate a T-54 and a T-62, and many other mediums. This one's just funny, by the way. <laughs> so the E-100 got stuck, I'm gonna go to HE, and put one into his engine deck. I was literally creased during that game. I must admit, I can't... <laughs> that's just the E-100. Ah, right. I can't believe I spoke for 11 minutes about just HE. Um, and the best life is, I could probably go on. Look, full hit point FE4202. We just took 50% of his hit points in one shot. And we're going to take the other 50% in another shot. That's the sort of thing a lot of players tell me is exclusive to the Death Star only. Yes, the Death Star can do it more reliably, but this thing can do it quicker if you find the right spots. If I was in a Death Star, I wouldn't be chasing that FE4202 in that circumstance. The 4202 probably could have circled me after one shot and absolutely ripped me apart with his HE. And once you get used to using HE, if you're not used to using it, it becomes almost second nature when to flick to HE. And as a result, those sorts of things or these sorts of things are not uncommon. And that can boost your average damage, it can boost your average win rate, it can make you laugh a lot more in the game, it can keep you alive longer during the games. I think we scared off the RU-251. Um, it does, it, it does all those things. And I've shown a lot of examples with large caliber guns because they emphasize the point more. I mean, look at that last HE shot on that RU. The next one's gonna be a HE shot as well on a jumping AMX CDC. But using HE is not exclusive to these tanks. Um, here's another example of the 50B. You ready? Wait for the cheek. Waiting for that cheek, completely worth it. That's half his hit points in one shot. And you won't always penetrate your HE shells. I didn't penetrate with that. But it counted towards my crew skill at the bottom because it still did damage, which means my next one is going to be a full max roll, or potentially a full max roll. And it just so happens that it is. So there's another added benefit. If you know that you're going to be on a roll and you need a max roll coming up, you could just try splashing HG to do some damage and then really take advantage of that potential max roll the next time around. I love max rolls in this tank, by the way. They make my day. <laughs> As one last example, I want to show you by here of HG and where it can be really effective. That ST1 thought he was safe. No other ammo would have hurt him in that scenario. I could have waited round doing absolutely nothing, waiting till he popped his nose instead. Over 500 damage to the side of his tank where he thought he was safe. And the same again. <laughs> now, some people say that's no skill. I disagree personally. We've done over a thousand damage to that tank while he is side scraping and barely any of his tank showing. And although this is a very good example because it's a large caliber gun, it's not exclusive. If you're versus a different IS and you're on an IS, 
fire HE while it's side scraping. You're going to make it use a repair kit. You're going to do at least some damage. If you know your heat and your AP because of such an aggressive angle is going to do nothing whatsoever, what is the harm in doing that just once, maybe even twice? It could be that little edge you need. It's better than not firing at all, in my opinion. And I think that's pretty much all I've got to say on HE for now. If you have a large caliber gun and you are not using HE regularly, you're really not getting the absolute max benefits out of that tank with that gun. So aside from squishy targets, remember there are patches on other tanks which you can penetrate once you learn where they are, and it's very useful for making people use repair kits when you want them to use a repair kit, and it's very, very useful for stopping tanks getting too close to you if you need to. I know some of this video is going to be glaringly obvious to some, but for others I hope it's genuinely of use. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.